I know, it's a huge letdown. He's not really that tall. He's really not that charismatic or good looking, right? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Vivian, very much. Um, wow. Um, the room looks just amazing. I've been to a few of these serious funds, and I'll tell you, Selena and Carol, you did a phenomenal job, just phenomenal, okay? You know, I am going to take just a minute or two, and I've got the room's full attention, and I have to tell you, you know, after 34, 35 years, this extraordinary woman still, when I ask her to dance, says yes, and I am the luckiest guy around, so thank you. Thank you. you know, we are humbled and deeply, deeply honored tonight to accept this award. The list of past recipients is filled with the names of individuals who not only stand for goodness and right, they live it every single day with their actions and their commitments. To even be in the same room, much less mentioned as part of their world in some small level, is simply breathtaking to Cinda, myself, and our entire family, so we are humbled. But you know, tonight, we are accepting this award in the spirit of what we've come to call generational giving. The Cherms are but one of many families that have passed the torch of giving from one generation to the next. The Wrights and the McLeishes, the Allens, the Sonenshines, the Dehans, and other human options families could just as easily stand with us tonight and represent the profound importance of handing down the tradition and the meaning of giving back. As Cinda, thank you. You know, as Cinda and I have talked about tonight and receiving this award, she has reminded me repeatedly about our parents, Carolyn and Peter, Jean and Vijay, and the lifelong role models they were for giving back. And now we see our children doing the same. And as she has said repeatedly, Cinda has told me, this is the ultimate gift of family. Generations bound together by causes. The cause of making this world a little bit better. We believe it is the small price we pay to live on God's green earth. But you know what? Clearly, your presence in here tells me you agree tonight. That's why you're here. But it can't end right here. That's right. It can't end right here or alone with you. We all have this immense responsibility to instill that same sense of charitable and philanthropic purpose in those we love. And you know, giving shouldn't be measured by the size of the donation. It should be measured by the depth of the passion you bring to a need a cause, or a crusade. It is why Cindy and I are proud that two of our three children are here tonight, Katie and Carly, along with our son-in-law, Greg Danielson, who through their work with Why Hope, young human options professionals and executives, represent a third generation of CHIRM family members who are now involved in personally giving to human options. I thank the three of you, as well as our son, who. I guess is in the library at the University of Oregon tonight. <laughs> Probably not. All right. I thank the three of them and our son, Logan, who has participated for caring enough to continue the tradition of giving. And finally, I want to thank my mother, one of the founders of this great organization, who along with Vivian, Margaret Thoreau, and then Anne Wright poured the foundation for human options 30 years ago. The same foundation, that's right, the same foundation that we all proudly stand on tonight to restore hope and rebuild lives. This Dove Award is for our parents, it's for our family, and most importantly, 
It's for all of those who make giving a true family mission. Thank you.